All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. News on Steely Dan, Donald Fagan coming up. Uh, before I get there, um, if you like Steely Dan, you should really check out State Cows, this great band from Sweden. They've been putting out music for a long time. This is their second album, appropriately titled The Second One. And uh, this is way back when they were on the Avenue of Allies record label. CD is falling apart in my hands. But uh, trust me, if you like Steely Dan, check out State Cows. They are still uploading lots of music uh, to the various platforms. And uh, they've been putting out albums. Uh, they've worked with some great musicians, including Michael Landau, who is a great guitarist. Jay Graydon who obviously worked with Steely Dan, and uh, Bill Champlin, uh, again, who is kind of a household name. Again, I've put the thing back together again. This is what the back cover looks like. Pretty cool artwork here with the bus and the uh, jet propulsion there. I like it. Uh, the second one, uh, and you can check out State Cows on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure it's statecows.com. Why state cows? Well, um, if you unscramble state cows, it will spell West Coast. So that's why they did that. Um, Steely Dan, kind of a West Coast band, right? And uh, similar to state cows. Apparently, Donald Fagan was sent to the hospital, and he is now out of the hospital, uh, following an unspecified illness. I love this. This is just great when it's always unspecified. Now, you're going to get a hint as to what it could be toward the end of this wonderfully written article, which explains everything. So Steely Dan has been serving as the opening act for the Eagles' Long Goodbye Farewell Tour. Fagan and his band last performed on September 20th in Elmont, New York. Cheryl Crow... Oh, I'd want a partial refund if um, Cheryl Crow uh, was the replacement for Steely Dan. And she was on October 5th and October the 6th. Steve Miller thankfully stepped in for the October 9th show and will serve as the temporary replacement moving forward with the exception of an October 15th performance in Pittsburgh where touring Eagles member Vince Gill will also serve as the night's opener. <laughs> well, he's already here, and he's got a catalog. He could push Joe Walsh out there, too. He could do a James Gang set or something. I'd prefer that. I like Vince Gill, but man, Don Henley just loves Vince Gill. I think he's forgotten about Glenn Fry because of Vince Gill. Um, but the Eagles haven't been the same since uh, Glenn Fry passed away. And I know Deacon does a good job, but he doesn't really sound all that much like his dad. He just doesn't, at least with uh, my hearing the way it is right now. So the exact nature and severity of Fagan's illness has yet to be revealed. This is the article talking about this. This isn't me hyping it up. But the indie star noted, and here it comes, that five members of the Eagles road crew tested positive for the thing. However, it's unclear if Fagan was battling the same issue or a different ailment because it's undisclosed. It's always undisclosed. According to Steely Dan's website, the band will resume touring alongside the Eagles starting on November 2nd in Atlanta. The beloved rock groups have a total of seven shows lined up together in the remainder of 2023 with an additional pair of dates January 5th and January 6th at the Kia Forum in Los Angeles. It's now the Kia Forum, if you haven't been keeping up with uh, the branding of stadiums as of late. It's unclear as to whether Steely Dan will remain the opener for further long goodbye shows or if the Eagles plan to bring another act with them on the road. The Hotel California Hitmakers, I just love when they do this, um, previously admitted that the farewell trek will be a drawn-out affair, and that's likely to stretch into 2025. 
We hope to see as many of you as we can before we finish up, the Eagles said in an earlier statement. Most importantly, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for embracing this band and its music. At the end of the day, you are the reason we have been able to carry on for over five decades. That and the fact that classic rock is dying. Um, they say here at the very end, this is our swan song, but the music goes on and on and on and on. It's like a journey song, right? So, um, you know, Steely Dan, they've always been this collective, uh, mostly faceless. I don't want to say nameless. They don't talk about Walter Becker anymore. Uh, they do mention Glenn Fry, at least the Eagles do. Uh, it's on their website. I don't know if they've got anything paying tribute to Walter Becker, but again, these were studio guys who weren't out, they weren't out on the road for years. And then they finally went out on the road because they realized um, this new album that we've got, I'm thinking back in 2000, they put out an album, and that's when Walter Becker was still here. And uh, critics liked it, the fans liked it, didn't sell. So they took to the road and they started making real money. And I'm thinking you could probably do a Steely Dan without Donald Fagan. You could not do the Eagles without Don Henley. You just couldn't do it. Um, but there's this gentleman by the name of Kip Lennon, and I've talked about him before. He's in this band called Venice. He's also out on the road with Ambrosia, uh, just killing it out there, doing their catalog. And he is a dead ringer for Donald Fagan. So that would be a solution. But, you know, with the concert riders the way they are, and with insurance and all of the overhead, I mean, how much does a stadium cost to rent out for a show? Because that's basically what you have to do. You have to pay the stadium hundreds of thousands of dollars. That would be my guess. So you wonder why ticket prices are so high. I mean, the house across the street from me right now is for rent. They want $3,200 a month for a house. So what is the cost to rent out a stadium for one show? So you combine that with all of these rules and restrictions and, oh no, if five of the road crew tested positive for the thing, I mean, they should have shut it down. I mean, what's changed in three years, right? The fear, the perception. Some of us are completely fed up with this, and we feel like at this point it's a con. Um, it's overblown. Stop getting tested, I would say. Stop with the testing. I mean, if you're sick, go home and take care of yourself. I mean, I don't know why he was in the hospital, so maybe he was very sick. Um, I'm thinking, too, that... Guys like Fagan, and, and to some degree, pretty much everybody in the Eagles, uh, with the exception of Deacon, right, um, are pretty old, and uh, all this stuff is going to continue to happen. It wouldn't shock me if the Eagles, you know, had to pull some shows, um, just because it's logistically hard uh, to keep these commitments. But uh, we shall see. Hopefully, everybody will be healthy, and they'll get through it. But there are a lot of restrictions, and there are lots of things happening behind the scenes. And quite honestly, you know, I wouldn't want to be the guy who has to do all of the paperwork and figure this stuff out for rock bands today. It's getting more difficult all the time. And with classic rock essentially just fading out, um, people are just hoping to see their favorite band one last time. And yes, I'm not saying. Steely Dan should tell Donald Fagan to head for the nursing home or whatever. But, you know, I'm thinking Kip Winger, <laughs> Kip Winger, Kip Lennon, Kip Winger would not accept the job, but Kip Lennon would be great. And by the way, he's not related to John Lennon. Um, he's related. He's the offspring of the famous Lennon sisters from long ago. And the band Venice is great. Um, again, Kip Winger wouldn't take this gig. I'm thinking it's a little beneath him. <laughs> Maybe it'd be interesting to have uh, Kip Winger singing uh, Steely Dan songs. But uh, in any event, these guys could do it. State cows, right? Actually, nobody in this really sounds like Donald Fagan. 
uh, but they are Steely Dan like and uh, some Toto and some Chicago in there. Um, this is their second album. It's really good. If you haven't checked these guys out, great album cover. Uh, they're constantly uploading music uh, to YouTube and to various other platforms. I've had them on the show. Um, I guess nobody really cares. They don't want to continue this stuff, so they don't really pay that much attention to them. But I think they're really cool. State Cows, check them out. Um, if you unscramble State Cows, it will spell West Coast. That's where they got that from. So just a little useless trivia. Anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching the channel. Um, please, if you can subscribe to the channel, I'm looking for new patrons all the time because old patrons leave. They don't like something I say or the economy is really bad. So a buck a month, two bucks a month. Yeah. If you start signing up for all kinds of things, you know, I can get rid of this. I don't need this guy. So I get that. But, um, if you know a wealthy donor who likes what I do, they can just funnel money over. That would be great. Um, no, I'm half kidding. I'm just half kidding. I'm not completely kidding. But if you want to support me, you could do it also on YouTube with YouTube memberships. I've got quite a few YouTube members now, so I appreciate all that. We want to try to keep this platform independent, which means even though I'm in the midst of another revenue apocalypse, I mean, it's gone down, I want to say, maybe 30% since... I don't know, about September 1st, we'll put it there. And it just continues to go down. And a lot of YouTubers are having this issue. I don't generate thousands of views per video. Um, even though I have 74,000 subscribers, it's weird. So I have one out of the 74, maybe two on a good day, two out of 74 watching the videos. So I'm pretty sure something else is at work here, but you can't really prove it. Um, I'd like YouTube to just free things up and to suggest my videos and uh, spread them around. So they're not. So I guess I'm saying if you guys can do that, that would be much appreciated. And um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.